Good day everyone. My name is Shambhuri Jha and today I'll be presenting my project on retail analytics and sales forecasting. This project is aimed for uh, providing us um, end-to-end solutions for analyzing retail sales data and also forecasting future sales using advanced analytics and machine learning. And my project also has interactive dashboards, uh, which has like exploratory data visualization and predicting models. Now, the data set which we have used in our project is stored in our data set folder. Now, if you see, our file has uh, the other uh, data set, train.csv file. It has multiple features such as uh, item identifier, then its MRP value, then its outlet identifier, the establishment of our outlet and the size, also the item sale. Now, this data or this data is used as the foundation for our analysis and uh, training. And um, the core of our data is stored in our uh, Jupyter Notebook file. Now let's delve into its components. Now, first part is we are loading the data here. We are importing the multiple libraries which are used with the specified versions. And we are uh, loading our training data. And first we are proving our data set. Like here you can see it has multiple uh, fields like had shown in the Excel sheet. Its identifier, its weight, the FAP content, its um, item type, MRP, and establishment here. Now, if we see, our data set has uh, 8,523 rows and 12 columns. Now we have just explored our data, trying to find uh, if it has if it has, if it has any null values, if it has any duplicates. And now we're exploring our data in detail. Now we're exploring our data in detail over here. Now we are checking for any missing value. Then um, over here, if we see. We have done multiple EDS in our uh, on uh, on our data set. And then now uh, over here we are creating a distribution of our uh, ERP and the number of uh, times it has it is present in our data. That is we have plotted a graph uh, item MRP into uh, frequency. Now we are also trying to find the sales versus outlet size. Over here, we are just trying to see. We are trying to get into conclusion by analyzing our data. And the same thing we have again done. We have again plotted to find uh, sales and the outlet outlet type. Now we have also made a correlation matrix that is used to identify the relationship between the features. Now we are trying to find uh, how the different features are related to each other. That's why we have plotted this matrix. Now moving on, we have also found the average sales by per item. Now, after we are done exploring for our data, we have moved on to checking the best a machine learning model that can be used on our data to find and predict and analyze future data. So over here, we have uh, imported multiple libraries and then we have uh, initialized our models. We are checking linear regression, lasso, then decision tree, random forest, and XGBA VRF uh, uh, regressors. 
Now we are testing these models. We are uh, initializing these models to check which model will actually suit our uh, data set and which will give the most accurate value. Now, if you see, uh, after we are done initializing, we are uh, evaluating each model over here using the five-fold cross-validation. And uh, after that, after we got the R2 score, R2 score for each uh, regression model. We are also comparing the model performance uh, with the same values. We are plotting it in a graph to compare which will give us the most best value. And from the graph, you can see the XTBRF regressor model gives us the best, uh, better value, uh, better model for our comparison. So from there, we will be using our uh, this XGBRF model to actually train our data. Because first we have explored our data, and then we have seen which data actually which model will actually give us the most precise and the best, um, which will be the best model for our training data. Now, after we are done from after we have analyzed from the graph, we have gone on, gone on to the training training our data on our data set. Now. We have over here, we have trained our data. And we can see we have got the MA value. And then after we are done training our data, we have plotted we have plotted another graph to actually check uh, our actual and predicted sales. Like you can see here. This is our uh, prediction value, and these are the actual values. The dotted points are our actual sales, and this uh, line over here shows our prediction, uh, predicted sales. Now, for example, we have to give us a random value. We have given a random range here. And after here, we are finding, we are analyzing, we have already trained our model previously, if you see. After that, we have uh, predicting our value, predicting our sales, forecasting our sales. Like you can see here, we are giving our input value. And using our model, we are predicting the sales. Like you can see here, it is giving our um, predicted sales value is 2064 with the given uh, input. And our sales changes between 1350 and 2770. Now, the same thing, if you see, we have done the same thing. We have put it in our dashboard using Python, Streamlit. This is for the user to actually preview our training data. You can check at the starting or the end of our data set. And then it can also show you the summary statistics, which we have, which I have already shown you in the notebook. Now we also have our basic sales insights. This is plugging in from our notebook. The very same thing. It shows over here. You can explore your data over here, training data. You can see how the values are changing here. Now, if you want to predict our, uh, you can see over here, multiple graphs we have for anal analyzing our data. Then we also have a time series analysis. We can change the dates and the ranges and you can see how the uh, trend will change over the time. And now you can also see how it is for the next coming weeks. Now, what if you want to actually enter a particular value and you want to see on your data? You can predict sales over here. 
for example i want uh, if my item mrp is 140 and my grocery store type is like our outlet type is let's say supermarket type 1 and our identifier is 35 outlet 35 and our outlet is established in 2005 and it is of medium size so let's see the let's see the sales it will predict you can see our predicted sales is rupees 4501 and for the given inputs our expected range is uh, about 38 uh, 3826 and it's between 3826 and 5176 and in the same way if you want for multiple values if you have a multiple testing values you can actually uh, upload your file here let's say i have this data set which is used for testing you can preview your data here and it must have our um, item mrp it should have an outlet identifier column and it should have these particular columns so that it can actually predict the sales now it is processing and it is actually testing we have already predicted we have already used a model in our jupyter file notebook so from there it is testing here and it is finding us our uh, predicted sales value you can also download the very same file as a csv file so you can see for our values for our given mrp values it is predicting the sales so now our uh, project also has a uh, few other files such as our app.py this file is actually the main uh, file which is used for making the dashboard because i have made my dashboard using streamlit so over here you can see the uh, um, for the stylings and uh, i'm uh, creating the dashboard over here and the multiple tabs i'm plotting the files plotting the graphs using the models which i've already defined in my jupyter notebook in my notebook and from there i am using those values and i am making it into a dashboard so that it is easier for the user to just input their values and analyze and predict their sales so this project basically gives us a comprehensive uh, approach to analyze the retail sales data and also forecast it using machine learning and uh, in my project i have used uh, jupyter notebook and uh, streamlit to make this project thank you